Prime Minister Vishwakarma Central Sector Scheme which support traditional artisans and craftspeople of rural and urban India mainly for OBCs. Backward classes, one scheme was being placed by the government last week only it got opened which is called as Vishwakarma. Vishwakarma. Financial outlay 13,000 crore budget, 18 traditional trades, Vishwakarma certified ID cards will be given to those people. Credit support of 1 lakh rupees will be provided, interest rate only 5 percent, they can take the loan, 5 percent means very less. Those people skill will be developed, tool kits will be provided, incentivizing if they are using digital transactions, knowledge for enhancement will be provided. These all things will be provided under Pradhana Mantri Vishwakarma scheme. What 13,000 budget allocation, a certificate will be provided, 5 percent interest rate will be provided, skill development will be provided, incentivized toolkit will be provided, upgradation if they are using digital transactions. What you have to remember? What are there in Pradhana Mantri Vishwakarma? First one, 13,000 crore, next, 5 percent interest rate, next, certificate will be provided from the central government, next. Eight, very good. 18 traditional crafts will be identified. Next, 18. Toolkit will be provided and they will be incentivized if they are using digital transactions. This is Pradhana Mantri Vishwakarma scheme. What are all the important things which happened in this week? If this PDF we will pro I will provide you. If this PDF, if you keep near you, keep near you, it will be more than enough for your prelims. India Current Affairs. 108 foot. Adi Shankaracharya statue is coming up. Like unity of equality came in? Unity of equality came in? Unity of equality came in? Hyderabad. Who? Who is that person? Big statue. Ramanuja statue. It is called as unity of equality. Sardar Vallabhai Patel statue is called as what? Statue of unity. Match the following. Statue of unity is Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Unity of equality is Ramanujam statue which is located near Hyderabad. This is called as? It will come. Shankaracharya, 108 foot. Shankaracharya, Ekatmata Ki Pratima, statue of oneness. It is called as? Statue of? Oneness. Expected question for a prelims 2024 culture point of view. Statue of oneness of Adi Shankaracharya. Statue of oneness. What is that? He believed that only one God. Where it is coming up? Omkareshwar, very famous. It is a Mata of Lord Shiva. At Omkara, Omkareshwar, located in Madhya Pradesh, 108 tall foot Adi Shankaracharya statue is coming up. That statue is called a statue of oneness. Recently unveiled in Omkareshwar, Kandwa district, Madhya Pradesh, prominent Indian philosopher and theologian, Hindu person is. And he advocated what? Advaita Vedanta, which means non-dualism. Non-dualism means only one, no dual, only one. What is that? Oneness. Oneness in God. One idol. And he believed that oneness is dharma. He did not told any god that oneness is dharma. That is called as Advaita philosophy. Advaita philosophy only one is very important that one is what? Dharma, moral, morality. His philosophy is called as Advaita philosophy. What is Advaita philosophy means oneness in God. There is only one God and that God is dharma. Ultimate reality, identity of self, overcoming errors, only one we have to believe and that one is having super powerful and that is one is nothing but morality. Shanmata system, five principal deities he believed, revitalized Hinduism, established four monastic institutions called as matas. So, he told five deities are there and the five deities are from one god that is called as Brahma. Who are those? Shiva, Vishnu, Shakti, Ganesha, Surya. He told that in Advaita philosophy, five gods are there. Who? Adi Shankaracharya. 
five gods are there and the five gods come from one god and that god is brahma brahman that god is brahman or brahma any silent brahman or brahma brahma is silent so this brahma has evolved into how many gods five gods so this oneness he is one he is having five avatars but this five people came from whom he is very famous for this shanmata system five principle deity shanmata he believed in shanmata principle which means five main deities but this five main deities came from advaita philosophy prelims point of view why because current affair no 108 tall statue came up the statue is called a statue of oneness where in madhya pradesh madhya pradesh where onkareshwar which district kanwa district only one god will be there that is brahma who believes in morality he evolved into five gods what are those five gods shiva vishnu shakti ganesha and surya this five people came from whom brahma which principle it is shanmata principle upsc prelims this type of words only shanmata prelims is shanmata principle is in the news regarding whom adi shankaracharya 